Hello and welcome to this video series uh, on how to implement Microsoft Dynamics NAV yourself. My name is Thomas Tackleson and I am a freelance Dynamics NAV consultant and developer and I specialize mainly in finance manufacturing and warehouse and I have about 15 years of uh, experience with, uh, with uh, the software. So this video series consisting of 20 free videos on YouTube is intended for companies who are in the process of evaluating various um, accounting systems or ERP systems. Um, the intention is that during this evaluation period um, you can um, very quickly install and evaluate Dynamics NAV yourself to get a bet better feel for what it is all about. Um, and obviously this is uh, uh, recommended before you make the choice. But it is, it is also intended for companies who have already decided to um, implement Dynamics NAV and the video series is, um, should be enough for a small and uh, relatively simple company to go ahead and uh, install Dynamics NAV themselves. However, if you do need some help with the process, I'm very happy to help you. Um, I work for most of my clients uh, remotely and um, I can also visit you on site anywhere in the world. So please do feel free to, uh, to contact me if you have any questions. So as I mentioned, the videos are all free and available on YouTube. And the first video is uh, a video on how to download and install Dynamics NAV. And then the second video, which is really probably the most important one, is how to set up a, a new company. And um, I'm, in this video, I'm going over how to set up the chart of accounts, how to set up uh, customers, vendors, and items, and uh, how to perform basic uh, um, purchasing operations with items and basic sales operations with, uh, with items as well. We are only also touching on uh, posting groups and uh, VAT uh, setup. And then um, moving on, we have the next video, which is a short one about filtering data and customizing the graphical interface so that it suits your needs. And in the next video is about number series. Then we have a video on uh, how to use general journals, which is really all about how you perform uh, bookkeeping and how you book uh, transactions into your general ledger. And then we have a, another a rather short video on how to reverse those journals. If you, um, if you make any mistakes, um, how do you roll that back? And then there is a video on inventory adjustments. So this is about how to perform uh, positive and uh, negative adjustments on your item inventory. Then there's a video on how to register sale uh, directly to the GL. Um, item sale uh, is covered in, uh, in this video up here. So this one um, deals with how to register sale directly to the, to the general ledger. And um, then we have one video which is about um, payments from customers. So how do you actually receive payments from your customers? And then there's uh, another video or the next video is about how to register expenses to the GL. So this video is somewhat similar to how to register um, sale to the GL, it's just for purchases. And then of course we have a video on how to pay your vendors or suppliers. And next video is uh, about the VAT, um, although this video up here does contain some information about how to set up VAT, this one goes more in depth about the, the monthly process, uh, um, processes about uh, uh, handling VAT. So it's both the setup and the use of VAT. And the intention is that those, uh, those first um, 12 videos should be enough for, um, to get up and running uh, as a basic company. And then the next two ones are, the first one will be about data migration. So how do you go about migrating data from your previous accounting system? There is a uh, certain or a, sp a specific um, methodology you need to follow uh, when you are migrating data from your previous accounting system into Dynamics NAV. And then finally, this one um, is more practical uh, and it is about how to um, import data from Excel. 
because during the process of migration you might have um, say a lot of items and you would probably rather not have to in, um, input those um, manually into Dynamics NAV. Rather it would be convenient for you if you can, could export them from your previous system and, uh, and import them um, from Excel into Dynamics NAV. In addition I have uh, five extra videos here. They are not really part of the main package but they focus on more uh, specific areas, more in depth. And the first one is about posting groups. Um, so you get an in-depth explanation about how posting groups work. The next one is manufacturing basics. So I'm going to show you how to use the manufacturing functionality in Dynamics NAV um, to convert uh, two um, raw materials into one finished goods uh, using uh, the production orders. Um, so we'll go through uh, production orders, work centers, routes, and, uh, and so on. And then I have made one on uh, the costing methods, and I've chosen to make it on uh, the FIFO method, because I think most companies uh, tend to use uh, FIFO for the majority of their items. And then I've made two debit and credit exercise videos. The first one focuses on debit and credit exercises with cash transactions. And the next one focuses on debit and credit exercises with uh, where you buy and sell on credit. So now it's time for you to get started, maybe with the first video here. And uh, you can actually click all of these video thumbnails and uh, it will take you to the actual video. So whenever you've watched one video, you can return to this video and uh, use that um, as a starting place for uh, watching the new videos that you want to watch. So uh, good luck, enjoy, and uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.